Hello and welcome to another Warcraft the audio commentary shoutcasting video. Yeah, it's a, it's a, I guess it is a video. So um, you can listen to it as an audio, hope maybe if you'd like. But at any rate, this is a video. So uh, this is game three for the WFDC two v two best of three match between Cal fifty one spawning as the red human in the twelve o'clock position, allied with Scamp. Uh, the red orc in the four o'clock position on Goldshire. <laughs> I'm not good with these things, these daggone positions. Okay, but we do see that is also going to be against Ted spawning as the purple he undead, the purple undead in the uh, six o'clock position, allied with Fly spawning as the purple orc in the uh, five o'clock position. No. No, wait, that's six, seven, eight o'clock position. The eight o'clock position. So we do have, just to recap that, because that was kind of bad. Um, Fly spawning, he's the orc, Ted, out his ally, Ted the undead. And we're going to have Cal51 as human, allied with Scamp as orc. So that is essentially the sides, the matchups. And uh, yeah. Wow, that was really awful. But <laughs> for, what a terrible introduction for what is going to be the best game in the series. Whatever. But anyway, so this is the best game in the series. Um, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and see a fairly forward shop being placed from Scamp. That's always a good idea to have whenever you're on this map uh, because you're, there's so much defendable area for both players here um, just as a team. And this is really a quintessential team map, I think, because the, the bases are essentially just one giant base if you want to build them that way. And uh, so you can do that very easily, even though there are two entries. But there's that nice block right here in the middle. But anyway, what we're going to see is that Cal51 and Scamp coming over here and creeping out this natural gold mine. Going to go ahead and probably expand right here. We do have Fly coming here with this grunt to harass a little bit and scout. And he knows that this is what's going on. But uh, they're not hugely concerned about this. Now we do see Scamp going to go ahead and pick up the potion of greater healing. That's 500 HP on demand. A really nice amount of healing. And over here we're going to see the forward shop also from Fly. Also going with the Torn Chieftain first yet again. Uh, and we're going to see now them also creep out this camp right here. They're natural. And they may go ahead and decide to expand here. And they may not because honestly a human is the best really the best to go ahead and get that fast expansion off because as you can see they can fast build that with multiple peons or peasants and um, get that up and running very very quickly down here we're going to see it looks like a scam coming in here chasing down this grunt all the way across the map and he's going to run directly into this army of Fly and Ted, which means they're going to go ahead and dust that Blade Master, trying to do some damage to it. Uh, going to go ahead and first of all pick up the uh, pick up the experience from that that creep camp. However, Scamp is actually going to get the the potion of greater mana, which is really nice. But he will go down, uh, probably worth it in all honesty, because that potion of greater mana would have been devastating on either the Torn Chieftain or the dead uh, the Death Knight. You're going to see Scamp coming here, uh, canceling a healing salve on that Fiend with those two grunts. Really nicely done. A little bit cheeky play, but, uh, you know, it's essentially it's it's good. It's good to do so if you can. And uh, we're going to see now that Fly is still attack. just chilling out. I mean, there's not a whole lot to do. Uh, hold on one second. Sorry, my nose being a little... Allergies is all it is. It's allergies. Um, But, yeah, and I don't know why it's, it's so allergy because it's like November. There's like not supposed to be pollen in the air in November, I don't think, but it's Kentucky, so you know there's there's who know, I don't even know what I'm allergic to. I'm allergic to like a ton of things apparently. I don't I don't really know. Don't I don't I don't know. But anyway, so I'm not I'm not even sure if I am allergic to a lot of things. I, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I know I'm allergic to like look. I I'm not gonna tell you guys my medical history. It's not important. Anyway, so the point is in the game we do have Scamp uh, just with those three grunts on the map, just doing some harass. And we're gonna see now the Cal 51 with that Archmage almost halfway through level two. A player's uh, gonna come down here and you're gonna see that Blade Master back out. He is level one, and of course, and he could have used that potion of greater healing just so you know down there at the bottom when he died, but he didn't, and that was a very conscious decision. We're gonna see Fly actually going for this expansion. Are we gonna see them be able to actually cancel this expansion? Or that could be a very big possibility. However, we do see Fly, Fly, or I'm sorry, Ted, trying to block this army with his units right here. Go ahead and get us around and stomp off on that Archmage. Going to force the TP. That's really nice because if they had been able to come in here and just right click on this Great Hall, they very easily could have probably canceled it uh, from going up. We have this Blade Master going to try to do that on his own anyway. And it's a possibility that he could, but he probably won't do so. I mean, he could if he used this Potion of Greater Healing. Uh, that would definitely allow him to actually cancel this if he wants to badly enough. The question is, will he? I don't know. Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. That's actually a lot of damage going off on him. He's actually going to perhaps even die again. Uh, down he goes, indeed. There you go. So, I well, that was not exactly how I expected that to go. Um, 
and so never mind. I I take back everything I just said. What a what a missed call. That was that was not even close. But um, I I don't know. That, those fiends came in and they were just like doing work. They were quite intense. But anyway, we're gonna see that. It looks like uh, Fly gonna creep out this green camp. We're gonna have Ted come down here and join him. He does head head popping a clarity on that death knight to get more mana of course mana issues are a big deal when you're a death knight uh, all undead players have to deal with the mana issues but what we're gonna see is this cow 51 he has crept out something here and he does actually have a rifle on the field a rifleman and he's at tier er, well let's see how 51 is now uh, still at tier one it looks like yes indeed tier, tier one at both of his uh, built places just now beginning the cape attack he does have double barracks and gonna mass rifles his ally, however, uh, Scamp, is tier 2, going to go ahead and start get, reviving that Blade Master, trying to put up a burrow here to get up to 50 food, has a Spirit Lodge done, as well as a Beast Area about to be done, researching Berserker Strength, of course, it's 100 HP and 3 bonus damage to each grunt, we're going to have some Spirit Walkers on the way out, an Arcane Tower is up at Cal 51's expansion, and we're going to see, it looks like one of these grunts has gone down uh, from Fly, just... Maybe it was just scouting around, uh, just having a good time, and then it got killed. And so that's why you shouldn't drink alcohol. Um, I, you know, don't ask me. That's just the segue I'm going to go with. Uh, so anyway, we're going to have Cal 51 coming in here with the Water Elemental being summoned, uh, coming down here to harass Fly's base. Actually, I don't care if you drink alcohol. It's really good. Just make sure you're, like, over, like, you know, at least, make sure you're at least seven years old. Because uh, you shouldn't start much earlier than that, honestly. It's probably not good for your growth. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna have that Cal 51 coming here. Gonna be a, gonna be able to stop a can cancel a burrow that is. Um, but as he runs back up to the back of this base, he's gonna have to be forced to be TP'd. Gonna have, have, that was some weird words. Uh, he's gonna be forced to TP out. And Ted, knowing he's not actually gonna pick anything out, comes over here. Looks like someone's lagging because Cal 51 is very upset. He said out in all caps. And actually, I don't know if that's really upset. He's probably just Chinese, and they probably just you know like the way it looks in caps better so uh, they probably don't associate that with yelling but it might be who knows but anyway they might I have no I really don't have any clue that's a completely baseless assumption but anyway what we're gonna see is a death coil being done to this blade master the blade master not really too concerned about it. it's only a level one or no it's a level two death coil but it was spirit linked that's what it was and you can see really when you're spirit linked you just don't take that much damage we're gonna have a speed scroll coming in here trying to take some better position here for cow and scamp however we're gonna see some wands of illusions on those sworn chieftains they're very like, tanky they do have a thousand HP they do take I believe um, I don't know how much increased damage they take. I think it's somewhere between 200% and 400%. I think it might be 200%. Uh, I think it's I think it's 200%. But anyway, that still would put them up to 500 HP. I mean, they're fairly large, bulky units, so they're fairly good at tanking. We're gonna see one of these flies, uh, flies grunt right here, running down. I'm gonna get actually gonna get ensnared right here at this voodoo lounge, and maybe gonna force a fight with that ensnare. We're gonna see. Uh, looks like both players are backing up, trying to ball themselves up into a fight to make themselves as durable as possible against this army that's going to have to hopefully spread out that's their goal is to have the big arc on the uh, the Cal 51 and Scamp's army while they're in a tight little nip place position as long as they can micro around in that position they'll be fine we're going to see that Ted actually going to get uh, ensnared and right clicked and surrounded on that death knight going to be forced to TP down here to this expansion taking yet another position right here uh, not the greatest position right here but we're going to see a really nice war sum coming in here from the Torn Chieftain trying to take out this level 1 Blade Master maybe going to force a TP no he's going to get away there he's a speed scroll off and of course with all that spirit link uh, it's very difficult to fight the spirit link at this level uh, especially with all these riflemen it's very very hard these are some very durable units we're going to see these water elements also being able to wreak havoc uh, wreak havoc wreak havoc we're going to see level 4 being picked up as he uh, on Ted's death knight as he coils a rifleman to get the kill trying to kick out one of these other rifles nope it's down in the back at 8 HP now uh, still doing damage. We're going to see a nice lightning shield being placed on the middle of that crypt fiend right there. Going to force him to move out of position and do less damage as well. Taking some actions from Ted as well. However, it looks like uh, Ted and Fly are actually going to be able to hold this position and for scamp as well as uh, cow to retreat gonna go ahead and pick off a coda beast with a little bit of damage and finish it with a coil so nicely done by ted and fly and scamp of course and cow 51 now on the retreat getting it back across their side of the map gonna regroup level three almost level four on that arc mage and the shadow hunter about 75 78 8 to 80 ish percent through level two uh blood mage being picked up i think that might be the second hero indeed uh the second hero is blood mage interesting hero choice i'm not sure 
Not totally sure why, but I guess he's going to go ahead and siphon some mana over to that Shadow Hunter. And the Blade Master is now level 2. Of course, he does have two scrolls of healing, a potion of lesser invulnerability, as well as a scroll of protection. So that is going to be a very durable army with the Spirit Link. This is their whole idea. There's Tirthi actually being picked up uh, by Ted. He is now researching Destroyer Form. If he can get Destroyer Form out, he will be able to defend this push fairly easily with that Destroyer uh, that he will have. He will only have one, but that will be enough, I think, uh, to just really deal with all the Spirit Link and the scrolls of protection, the, the scroll of protection protection that's going to be used uh, but the issue is that it's going to take a little while for that to actually finish researching and in the meantime this fight is going on however they're doing a nice job of just actually right clicking and focusing down spinning out some nice damage onto this uh, blade master there is an orb of corruption on the lich which is going to help deal with the fact that there's spirit link uh, we're going to see a death boy going off onto that blood major little healing wave also going off a really nice uh, stun stunning pretty much the entire army of both cal 51 and uh scamp they don't want to ball their army up that's not what they want to do not with the torn chieftain on the field he is level four now he does have level two war stomp and level two endurance aura as well as level 2 Unholy Or. These units are very, very fast and very, very durable, and they're also attacking quite fast as well. Uh, and that's just the way it's going to be. And we're going to see perhaps still no Spirit Link coming in from Fly here, but he has got a lot of resources with that expansion. We're going to see one of these uh, death, one of these fiends is going to go down to a Windwalk Backstab damage, which is 40. He is still in level 2 on that Blade Master. We're going to see that Destroyer form being picked up, and now he's going to have a Destroyer out on the field, getting a fair amount of mana with the Dispels, uh, eating that magic, absorbing mana, whatever you want to call it. And he's going to go ahead and pick off the Blood Mage as well, trying to kick uh, the Coda Beast that's in the back from Scamp. Going to force it to run away. Uh, now really going to have a hard time for Cow and 51 to deal with this. We're going to see a nice War Stomp going ahead and stunning three of these Riflemen as well as this Archmage. Maybe going to force the TP. Yes, indeed, forcing the TP. Go ahead, Nova. I think a lot of kills right there with these Peasants. I'm going to take down one more. I'm sorry, Peons is going to take down one more Rifle. Maybe two more. I think two more Rifles died right there during that TP. And a very decisive victory in that fight for Ted and Fly. Um really nice and of course scamp and cow are kind of relying on the fact that they had that spirit walk early on during that push uh, and try to take out this expansion if they could had they been able to do so this would have been a really bad position for ted and fly to be in but given that they were not able to do so it's not that great and that water elemental is actually going to feed level five to both the death knight and the torn chieftain so that is quite unfortunate for scamp and cow 51 because you do not want to have high high level heroes especially not a death knight and especially not a torn chieftain a torn chieftain at level five uh, most likely will be picking up War Stomp at level 5, I'm sure. Let's see. Yes, indeed he did. And War Stomp at level 5 is just a massive, massive uh, AoE around this hero and a very long, long stun. So that's going to be really difficult to deal with from Cow 51 and Scamp. We'll see how you, we'll see how they react to that. We're going to see level 4 on this Archmage, still level 2 on this Blade Master, level 3 on the Shadow Hunter, and level 1 on the Blood Mage. Keeping this out, uh, going to go ahead and see what item did they get. Ring of Protection plus 2, not a huge deal. I'm uh, probably going to sell that. We're going to see a Tome of Retraining being picked up on the Archmage. Forces are under attack. Uh, did they actually go ahead and sell it? Nope. Going to put it on the Blade Master. That actually makes sense as well uh, you need some armor you need to be tanky on that hero if you can be and uh you know, th there is the issue that he's going to have to deal with the fact that armor doesn't help with spell damage, but it will, of course, help with all of the physical damage coming in from these units. Uh, it looks like this grunt now is actually going to take some damage as well, and perhaps Scamps will lose this grunt as well. He did lose a raider right there that was trying to reinforce his army, uh, so both play both of those go down. You just see these units are so fast. Look how fast this Warren Chieftain is with that level 2 Unholy Aura and level 2 Endurance Aura. Watch him coming here. And oh, very, as he comes in to stun, he's going to actually get uh, hexed and siphon mana. going to come in here. That stun not nearly as potent as it would have been, um, sending maybe a third of the army uh, from Cal 51 and Scamper. We're going to go ahead and see some blizzards being used here. A, tor a Crypt Lord third for Ted actually coming in. Uh, we just see Flies could be kind of ensnared, not a great position right there. We're going to see some nice War Stomps coming up here on the top part of the map. going to see an Impale coming in. As you can see, these units really, really desperately need to have a Healing Scroll used to keep them alive for much longer. Um, but so much AoE, the flame strike and the blizzard really just decimating Ted and Fly's army as well right now. Oh, well, that's not good. They are actually not going to need a healing scroll because they're just doing so much damage. They're going to force their opponents away, really just destroying all of those fiends. The death, the Crypt Lord now going to need a defensive coil. Uh, there it is, level 5 on that Torn Chieftain. He does have Lightning Shield being picked up. However, he has now been hexed yet again, uh, and this time he is completely out of mana. You can see these fiends are about to both go down. It looks like will one of them get coiled? Uh, nope, not not gonna happen it looks like that and the lich is hexed will the lich go down the lich goes down as well level three lich on the dead or dead now at that point oh that's not good we're gonna see now it looks like fly and ted are forced to retreat 
That was a really nice position, a really nice move from Scamp uh, with the Hex on that Torn Chief and then immediately taking that big arc that they wanted uh, to prevent uh, really too much damage coming in from that Torn Chief and that was a beautiful play by them. Uh, I really thought they were not going to win that fight. I, they didn't have the hero level advantage, they didn't really have much at all in terms of advantage. Uh, they just took an advantageous positioning and if that, that was really it and that was all it took. Uh, that was some really nice micro and really nice play. For Ted, we're going to see he's at 48 food. Uh, Fly is at 49 food. And if we look over here, we can see Cal 51 at 63 food and Scamp at 35 food. They might have had the food advantage. I don't know. I, I wish I had checked that before that fight had started, but I just I didn't think that they stood a chance. So I guess I have been proven wrong. Uh, really nicely done by Cal and uh, Scamp. Just really, really nicely done. And that 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 uh, Blood Mage all of a sudden makes a lot more sense. You know, uh, you can drain the mana of the Torn Chieftain, and but more importantly, you can also provide hexes uh, with the Shadow Hunter. And uh, so, I mean, there's a lot of lockdown on that Torn Chieftain right there with the Hex and the uh, the, the Siphon mana. Uh, I'm not sure why I just said more importantly. <laughs> As I was just thinking, I was also saying, I was thinking, also you can hex the Torrent Chieftain. But so you, you can lock down the Torrent Chieftain, but uh, well, I guess you could say more importantly than that, though, really, is that it, once this Blood Mage hits level 3, the Flame Strike at level 2, if he goes with that, as well as level 3 Blizzard, uh, provides just a ton of just ridiculous amount of damage. It's going to make Fiends a very poor choice, as well as Grunts. Uh, but we're going we're gonna to see, it, uh, of course. Uh, Fly and Ted have reinforced their army, no problem. As we saw at the end of that fight, they were really at 50 food still each. And now we're going to see both of them breaking up. Keep uh, Ted right here at 52 and Fly at 61. We can check back up here. Uh, we're seeing sports. Cal at 69 and Scamp at 50. So both players, all four players trying to get up right now, trying to max up if they can. Of course, with the expansion, it's a lot easier. Uh, both players do have the expansion. Uh, now, it's a little bit more difficult at this point for Fly to actually feed Ted gold. He cannot do so anymore if he has been. I don't know if he has been. I'm assuming he has been uh, on and off. But this is also true for uh, Cow and Scamp. Well, not yet it's for them because actually Scamp is still at 50 food. And if he breaks upkeep, then his transactions, his trades will go ahead and be taxed. And yes, indeed, that's what we're going to see happen. I think he might just we might have just saw some gold being passed. I'm not sure. But uh, either way, we do see down here for Ted. That's no longer going to be the case. He is in low upkeep, so he's going to have to deal with taxes as well should uh, Fly decide to feed him. Which probably won't happen anymore until they both lose and come unless it's absolutely necessary uh, over here we're gonna see this army is kind of regrouping for scamp and how they're moving out and let's see it looks like they have a scroll of healing on that blood mage a scroll of healing on the shadow hunter as well as a scroll of protection on the shadow hunter as well we do see over here for the blade master a scroll of healing and a scroll of protection on the arc mage nothing much just a healing salve um, down here for the torn chief we're gonna see a scroll of healing uh, on the lich not much as the Orb of Corruption, not much on the Death Knight, just some uh, Wand of Lightning Shield, which of course he did use on the Torn Chieftain once, uh, which is very, fairly effective actually. And um, the Tor the Crypt Lord also pretty much itemless as well. Is, does does, does uh, Fly have a second hero? No, he does not. Um, but I mean, he's a very, very potent level 5 hero. I guess there's also that issue uh, that even though they do have the experience level advantage, they have the level advantage. But uh, their opponents have more heroes, I think, right? Because we see four heroes. Actually, maybe not. We see have four heroes actually in play as well. Ted does have that Crypt Lord third. Uh, so there, there's that. There's interesting. And we're back. Uh, had a bit of a mishap there. Just going to have to re-record this last little bit of the game. Not a big issue. Uh, we're right before this fight was about to happen. The Destroyers have just morphed. They have got the mana. And let's get this game underway. Right back into the about to have this fight go off. This is a big fight, big army. We're gonna see a, sh a voodoo shop going down for Scamp right there. And we're gonna see it looks like Fly just rushing in, a speed scroll to get Fly into position here, uh, and as well as Ted. We're gonna see this begin to happen. We're gonna see a blizzard coming off from that arc mage, a healing wave going off, an impale gonna stop the blizzard. You can see these units have nice arc formed around Fly's and Ted's units here. We're gonna see that blizzard once again coming off. We do see an ensnare is on the heck. Uh, I'm sorry, a hex on the torn chieftain right there, unable to get anything off. You can see a flame strike going right into where all of Ted's units and Fly's units are. Looks like this is really going quite well for Cow 51 as well as Scamp this fight. Uh, we're gonna see that Lich barely getting a coil right before he goes down. We're gonna see another siphon mana that the torn chieftain is completely um at this point out of mana. And it looks like uh, the level 3 Blade Master getting yet another healing wave off. Uh, who's winning this fight? It looks like these Spellbreakers over here are doing just fine. You can see this is where Fly's arm, I'm sorry, Ted's army has kind of regrouped up at the top of this fight. You can see that taking a little bit of damage on the Blade Master. It looks like Ted and Fly have now turned the fight 
I'm gonna say turned it around. And maybe they were doing better the whole time. I didn't see maybe they, I think Fly or Ted ran his units up to the top and I didn't notice. But we're gonna see now. It looks like how gonna lose this Archmage, maybe. Running away level six being picked up on that Torrent Chieftain. A healing wave going off on that Archmage. Is he gonna be able to keep it alive? Down goes the Archmage to a coil. Nicely done. And it looks like Ted and Fly are gonna be able to decisively take victory in this fight. Uh Nicely done. I, I was a little concerned for their sake there at the end of that fight, uh, but down goes the Blade Master getting inserted and Death Quote. But yeah, that is uh, that is actually going to go very heavily into Fly and Ted's favor. So nicely done. It looks like they're going to win this WFDC match because at this point, uh, there's really nothing left for Cow or Scamp to defend against this oncoming onslaught. Of course, we do see uh, Cow trying to put up an expansion up here, and had he managed to win that fight or at least not lose so badly, they would have been able to do a lot uh, to keep themselves in the game with that expansion. But um, that was that was a little bit brutal. I I don't know where I, I saw Ted's units go away. I thought I could, they must have ran up screen. I thought they had just died, but uh, no, they did not die. There's a lot of AOE there for a little bit, and I thought that might have killed them. But no, they just microed away. They were very good players. Um, there's so much going on in that fight. So easy to get completely confused. And that was actually the first time I watched it. I I say recasting. I wasn't actually. I haven't actually casted the rest of it. Um, I had to stop. Someone walked in the room, uh, which of course meant I had to stop the recording at thirty like three four seconds in. Uh, so anyway, yeah, from where I was. But yeah, so that is game three. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, you know, I think you do. I think you, I think you, I mean, I think I did. Uh, I, I definitely did. It was a very good game in my opinion. I'm very surprised that Ted and Fly won this right there at the end. After that, Vic, after losing right here, they lost so over badly right there. But uh, they, they came back into the game swinging, you know, and they uh, they won the game. So nicely done by them. This is normally the part where I'm going to speed up a little bit there. Uh, there we go. And um, one thing, I forgot I could use plus and minus on my keyboard to speed up and slow down the game. Man, I, <laughs> it's been too long since I have, like, I, I they took a break from watching replays there for a little while uh, before I did these casts, before I started doing the cast. I was like, I want to watch Warcraft 3 games again, and I want to do casts, uh, and you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to combine them and, you know, do it that way. Uh, and I'd t probably taken a year off, actually. Uh, I, you know, I, I watched the occasional game, of course, still, but I used to watch them, like, daily. Of course, I was a replayer's approver for a while, then I, was, you know, worked for WCR, so, uh, and of course, a player for a long time, too, so I just love watching replays, and Anyway, <laughs> so now I'm just kind of ranting at this point. Uh, but yeah, so again, I just want to say thanks to whoever it was that posted that in the comments. I think it was Einish, but I'm not sure. And I probably just murdered your name, and I'm sorry about that. But anyway, so that's Game 3. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the series, and I will see you guys next time.